Happy St. Patrick's Day! Welcome back to Bruise with Beck. Special St. Patrick's Day edition. I'm Dan. How the hell are you? I uh, hope you got your green. I got, you know, best I could do. Got my, gr my green uh, thing I take the dog out with, my, my nice uh, robe, and then, uh, you know, found another shade of green to uh, change it up. So, but happy St. Patrick's to you. Hopefully you're uh, celebrating with something Irish. Um, I've got something Irish and something from Colorado that is trying to be Irish, but in, you know, brewed in the Irish way. We have the lovely traditional uh, Guinness draft. Uh, it's not draw, it's draft. That's the way it's pronounced. Um, yeah, this, uh, I was looking into it. This is just so I could, we could differentiate the difference. This is 4.2 4 on the Richter, so pretty light. Um, Guinness is made, I'm sure I could get way more into it, but what makes, makes Guinness, and I, and I think it's kind of that same way, is they take uh, a portion of the barley and roast it to give it the dark color and characteristic taste, is what it says. So, and until 2016, they used uh, this uh, Isinglass thing uh, made from fish to kind of, you know, yeah. Um, actually, I, f I forgot exactly why they did that, but I get, apparently they've stopped doing it. Um, I think it's for more clarity in the beer, I think. You can look that up, but... They used to use Isinglass. Um, they apparently do not anymore. But, yeah. Um, it has just, all it says is water, barley, roast, malt, malt extract, hops, and brewer's yeast. I looked another for it. Guinness yeast versus number two. Now, again, this is the, the classic. The Michael Jordan of Irish stouts. Uh, what up, Pete? We discussed this earlier. Versus... Uh, I was gonna go with Murphy's. They didn't have it store, but I did find this, and this is the this is the new school version that uh, Breckenridge. By the way, Breckenridge Brewery, not out of Breckenridge. Apparently, it's out of Littleton, Colorado. I did not know that. So you know, check, I'm just checking my facts. Uh, unless someone wants to tell me differently, out of Littleton, Colorado, not Breckenridge, Colorado. So didn't know that. But the facts on the newcomer, the quote unquote, let's call Giannis Antetokounmpo. I don't, I can't really call it LeBron James because I don't, you know, it hasn't really, not a whole lot of people have heard of this, but it is 4.8 on the Richter. And uh, just so I have it right, they, um, it's jet black and true to style, 100% Maris Otter base malt and English ale yeast in this, in this uh, bad boy. So there you go. And again, just a little bit more, um, a little bit more on the uh, ABV Richter scale, four eight four two, uh, the cha the longtime champion, the uh, incumbent uh, new school bad boy of Irish uh, nitro Irish stouts. So there you go, uh, checking them out. This versus this, I'm gonna see the differences and maybe which one I like better. So with that being said, um, yeah, I don't really know if anything else to say. Oh, let, let me just read off where. Guinness is officially from the brewery. Uh, says St. James Gate. Uh, I'm probably butchering this. Leinster, Ireland. Is it Leinster? Leinster? It's all right. I could have done the pronunciation earlier, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I, have, I plan on going someday. Um, all right. So without further ado, old school champion versus new new school contender. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's pour, pour the Guinness. And here we go. It's going to be fun. Ooh. Yep. And on that note, please subscribe. Just And there's a like button down there. You can just tap that while this uh, Guinness is going down nice. Much appreciated. And yeah, if you want to come along with all the uh, phenomenal beers I do and f just phenomenal humor, come along. Let's, let's subscribe. All right. How's that looking for you? Very St. Patty's Day, creamy, rich, boom. So there we go. We got we got the Guinness. Give it space. I don't even know how to. There we go. All right, and doubling up, doubling up, getting crazy today. St. Patty's Day. Okay, Breckenridge Brewery Nitro Irish Stout. Here we go. Mmm. And if you didn't hear me again, come along and subscribe. You, 
you'll, you'll love my channel. You, you'll, you'll love my humor. It's, it's, uh, it's nothing but the best. But again, hit that like button down there. It helps me out quite a bit. Appreciate that. Okay. So Maris Otter. I don't think that that's in, in Guinness. So there we go. Anything more? Nope. But notice how uh, I believe this one kind of came, you know, there was a little bit more rising up like the famous, uh, you know, thunderstorm of brown uh, creaminess that is the Guinness, which I didn't feel like I saw that as much on the, yeah, there we go, on the nitro uh, stout, Irish stout from Breckenridge. You know what? I'm going to go, no, let's start with the champion. All right. No words on uh, St. Paddy's Day. Let's get it. Yep. Nice and smooth, just like I had uh, the other day when we were celebrating with this. Real, just that's what you know. Some people that don't uh, know the facts about Guinness, they think it's such a big, huge beer, four point two, and I don't even know the calorie count, but it's it just it's just a cream bomb of just session. I mean, it's below five percent, so you got a session, but the the, the mouthfeel is mouthfeels almost. 100 percent it's it, it's it's creamy it's not like it's you know a bourbon barrel aged maple stout that i've had from weldworks it was just literally maple syrup um uh, maybe the thickest beer i've ever had but anyway neither here nor there in fact so I'll, I'll rearrange these as we go so right now you got you got your guinness right there All right, now let's replace that and go over here with the Nitro Stout from Breckenridge, 4.8. Ooh, wow, Guinness. You're brewed in a different way in your classic. Let me get these uh, behind, just hold them up. Maybe make it easier, there we go. Um, this is a little thicker, um, not by much, a little more, uh, hit at the end of, uh, like cocoa chocolate. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, again, it's with the, um, an English ale yeast and the Maris Otter. Um, let me, I'm going to pause. I'm going to see what Maris Otter is supposed to bring out. I forgot to look at that one sec. And how are you? Welcome back to St. Patty's Day. I'm Dan. Um, okay, so looked up what you're really supposed to get from Maris Otter. Um, you know, described as nutty, bready, and biscuity. Um, multi biscuity, bit of earthiness. So, what I'm getting out of Breckenridge uh, Nitro Irish Stout is uh, I don't know, I feel like I feel like it's cocoa at the end a little bit. Again, it's a little thicker. I don't know if I'd say bready, but mm, well, let me see. I mean, what else I get in there? There we go. I mean, it's got the same smoothed out characteristics. It's just, it's just a little. Let me go side by side. Here we go. Yeah, Guinness is just very, there's not, I, you know, it's just pillowy, soft. Um, I don't know if you just call that roasted, you know, kind of a roasted malt feel that's not bitter. Because I'm not really getting, like, milk chocolate or dark chocolate. It's just, yeah, I think you just kind of get that uh, roastiness that, as they say, they, they take uh, part of the uh, barley and roast it. So, but I know they're doing this. Um, again, I just know this is a little heavier and maybe it's, maybe that's just the difference. The Guinness uh, malt is a little bit more just easy going and, and not so heavy on any kind of flavor. Maris, Maris uh, Otter malt is a little more, you know, Maybe cocoa and nutty. <laughs> like myself. Boom.
Yeah, I mean, ever, and even maybe like ever so slight more coffee, um, at coffee, cocoa, but again, it's still, still pretty smoothed out. So there you go, right there. That's what I'm tasting. Let's put these bad boys at the forefront. Yep. All right. So back a whole struggle when you got a limited set. Okay. Well, I like them both. Um, love that I'm drinking both on St. Paddy's, two Irish stouts on, on the day of St. Patrick. Um, but for my taste, man, Cause I don't want to deface the champion if uh, I don't have to. Definitely got a little bit, maybe a little bit more like just a bitterness, um, maybe um, in in the regular Guinness. Pretty similar, but yeah, you're just getting a little bit more cocoa in this one, a little thicker, thicker body. Um, this might have a little bit more um, that roasty end to it. So it's a toss up, you know, if you want to keep it simple, nice and pillowy smooth, uh, you know, uh, roasted, uh, you know, roasted barley, like ro just a little bit of bitterness at the end, you know, you're going to go with the Guinness and maybe ever so like a little bit more ever so slight. I'm not even saying it's chalky. I'm just saying it's a thicker body. So thus there's a little more chalk in, in, in the Breckenridge. Um, yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Um, let's see where, where we got it, where we got it. Hold on. Let me, uh, okay. Anyway, sorry for the longness, but you know, you got two beers on St. Patrick's day and you're just enjoying it. Might run a little long. Um, I am going to, I'm going to give, um, hmm, yeah, they're, uh, they're both, they are both going down from stellar, solid, decent, reasonable, n hell no, they are both decent, so you can see that, there you go. So same, they get the same rating if you're giving just on word, but it's tough. I don't want to, again, I don't want to say that I prefer the new school over, uh, over Guinness, but one more taste and I'll let you know. Traditional, slight bitter at the end, softer. Hmm. Hmm. You know, as they do in the ring, if you, if you can't say for sure, which one you prefer, I mean, again, just ever so slightly more cocoa, but this one has more roasted or like a bitterness at the end. Uh, um, it's almost, a, it's almost a draw. So on that note, you know, you, you uh, still going to have to go, go with the good old Guinness draft, but that's not saying it's basically a draw. Uh, just a little bit of difference, but n none uh, too much like crazy better. Just like I said, you're going to get more cocoa and, and uh, you might get some nuttiness out of this. Maybe a little more coffee. And, and this is just more the pillowy soft uh, um, roasted ending. So there you go on St. Patrick's Day 2021. Hope you enjoy. Uh, again, can't wait to see you all subscribe to my page, uh, come along with all the uh, other mystery beers and beers of the future, and I'm going to do a self-cheers self, uh, self -cheers to drinking down all this stout. All right, good green day. See you out there. Don't get too drunk.